Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey Crafts, and today I thought I would answer a subscriber question that I've seen a few times. And the question is in regards to um, putting the blackthorn stick up a chimney to blacken it. Um, there's plenty of, of articles, and well, they all really came from kind of one, one source, actually, in book, um, regarding that uh, long ago, and um, that this was a technique to to blacken the uh, the black terms or to season it. But uh, if you can imagine, like um, if you've ever been to Ireland or seen an Irish cottage, um, a lot of the old Irish cottages used to have a very wide fireplace. And in the mid middle of the fireplace, they would have like this this cauldron which would be hanging over um, a fire. And uh, this would be kind of used to, to to heat up water and you know to cook on and and to do to do many activities and many different things and because of the size of the 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 like the fireplaces you'd very easily would could put up um, a few sticks above it up high especially you you wouldn't want to have it too close to the fire you have to put a, a bit up the chimney and uh, it'd be a good place to 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 keep it dry um a lot of the uh, the the smoke would uh, would blacken the uh, the the stick as well i suppose that um you wouldn't really leave a stick up there like for a long period of time um so you know you see many kind of theories and again remember like a lot of what you read is theory it's a lot of people that are just basing an opinion based on some research they've done there's no kind of conclusive evidence other than what people have said in a poem they, they think or they've heard in an interview and uh you know you always have to kind of remember that when when talking about the uh, the, the kind of history of of uh of black torn there's a lot of um there's a lot of things as well that are hard to to substantiate so my as someone who has been making black torn for for quite some time the the most logical reason i can see as far as the process is definitely to blacken it you wouldn't really put it up the fireplace to, to season it because um you know it, you'd have to leave it there for for quite a long time and if you speed up the speeding speeding process it can crack it as well so um it probably right just just at the end they want to uh you know they put the sticks up for the last few things they have a stick they probably seasoned it for for a while and you know they they want to start working on it they probably pull up the chimney just to make sure you know that that to blacken it and to, just to make it look look a bit better maybe just they they felt at the time they have to like dry it out a little bit more just towards the very end just leave it up there for a little bit when they have a uh, you know a, a fire that that and it, again like they would have been burning uh like um like peat and bog you know anything they got from the bog would have been burnt in the fire and you know they can be quite quite smoky if you've ever um burn burn the turf fire you kind of know you know what what type of smoke be coming up from from the turf as well and uh so this would be the kind of reason to 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 do it now a lot of a lot of guys ask me to do it they say can you can you do it like the fireplace and uh most art modern irish fireplaces aren't like that like I, I do have a fireplace in my house but like it's not a big one like if you go into the old cottages like i've seen several like they're they're huge like you know they'd be uh, you know two two meters wide in some some cases like they are quite quite big and it's it's you it's very easy to get in and put a stick up and go in and go out but these modern irish fireplaces are tiny like you know they might be about a foot and a half wide by maybe two two foot tall and uh, you can't really put a put put anything up there really like you know so it's it's not not practical at all so um unless someone wants to donate me and donate me an irish cottage they say here you go here's an irish cottage now i want you to uh, to to put on a fire and to, to blacken some black drawn sticks up the chimney i'd be quite happy to to accept uh, gifts of of cottages you can start paying me in which would be pretty good but I just thought I'd just kind of would just expand in the answer because but sometimes when people ask you in a comment and you just don't have a time to, to, to give a full, full answer on that. And, uh, you know, I'm quite happy to, to answer any questions over a video that, you know, might require a bit more explanation or if you require a bit more, like, um, just ask me, like, if I give you a short comment, 
in the comment section it's usually because i'm under pressure with time um i might have like 20 30 minutes that i'm trying to rush through what are the comments reply to a few before i must get on to making sticks or my customer service or doing some marketing activities or carving you know it's it's there's there's never a dull moment in stick making you're always you're always busy throughout the day and you just have to kind of manage your time because if you spend too long on social media you know your day's gone and you you can't you don't have enough time to do the important things which is making the sticks um so thanks for watching uh remember every friday at uh, 6 p.m gmt which is our irish time i do the uh, the live stream and uh yeah they're, they're turning out to be a lot of fun you can come on the live stream you can ask me some questions just more or less get to know me and like i can get to know you sorry there's a there's a a fly here trying to uh to, to hijack this video i better go and swat it anyway all right guys thanks for watching okay bye bye